welcome. Life. <laughs> Finding out this figured out. It's like we forget each week. I, I don't know why. I don't know how we can figure tech. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. We are happy to be here. Happy to, we have, are. happy to have Tim here. Tim is very slowly recovering. We're waiting still on next steps. So, um, and boy, is he loving getting the mail. I Can I just Sunday. tell you? <laughs> you guys are remarkable. <laughs> so, we have been looking forward to this. So, we're just thrilled. One other little update to add to our medical things. My 97-year-old mother broke her arm on Friday. So in addition to all this, getting Tim to his appointments, then I get a call. So I took her in on Saturday, and it would be a, a clear reason to do surgery. But at 97, they're not likely to do that. So now it's in a sling. And this week, I'm taking her to a surgeon who's going to make the final decisions of what can be done. So um, yeah, so that's just interesting between these two people. I don't know. I thought I was busy enough. I'm glad I'm not 97. You probably <laughs> wouldn't give me any treatment. So anyway, it's just one of those things. So it's it's just hard. And I said, that is too bad, but I'll keep you updated on her too. So that is just wonderful. And we still are having miserable weather. We're waiting for, I think, next weekend. Cold when... and cloudy. Occasional so snow. Tim is overwhelmed with his cards. So I just want to tell you, we're going to open cards tonight. We're going to get as far as we can. And we're going to come back tomorrow night at 630. So if you're not tired of us, just come back. We'll just kind of keep this going because it's so fun and we can't rush through all this. So my only announcements are, this is the host code, 43XWKYQU. And just let me know if you have any questions about that. The card kit for this month is with Expressions and in Ink. This is one of the three cards you get in the card kit when you place a minimum $50 order through me in a month. And this weekend is a stamping techniques class for the All Good Cars Club. So and it's only $15 to come join us. So it's like a little mini retreat. So I have it, a lot I have it money. ready. I am so glad. <laughs> I'm so busy. So, but I'm looking forward to just settling in and laughing and chatting with all of you guys. So let me know if you have any questions about anything. It is just wonderful. Snowing in Wisconsin. Yeah. And we've had snow here. It snowed all Easter yesterday. Um, but it's, we actually had a fun Easter, very different. We did no meal. You know, Tim isn't up to that or anything either. And the kids stopped over just for a couple hours late afternoon. But Hank was wonderful. Since you guys know Hank, I'll tell the story. He's not really been into card making ever. He helped me with my videos, but he loved when he made that card for Ukraine and he came up with that idea. He Love doing that. And so when they came in yesterday, he said, could I work on some coloring projects? So we took out the, both the watercolor things that he had worked and the um, Stampin' Blends and a bunch of papers and all the other adults joined him. So it was so fun. We're just sitting around the table. Everyone was drawing and coloring and chatting. And I thought, oh, I never thought that would happen with our family. It was just a fun way to spend time. So then I told the kids at the end, you know, when you guys were little, I put your your drawings up on the wall and I put your name and your age. I said, should I do that now? And just say, you know, your name and, you know, age 39. <laughs> so, but it was such a fun thing to do when we were together. It was just very precious. And we just had dessert and uh, it was yes. all good. So thanks guys. So we are ready to start sharing cards. I said, oh, and the kids, everybody that comes by, Tim shows him his stack of cards. No one can believe it. I said, you guys are absolutely wonderful. This is Ginger Favre. Tim's voice, I don't know if you can tell online, but he's been very hoarse through this whole thing. So he is a little more limited in his talking. So I, I will still do the majority of the talking, but just know Tim loves it. Oh, is that cute? Look at that. <laughs> Hung up in a tree. It's very cute. Okay. This is a cat. This is a card we have to share with our um, uh, our daughter who loves <laughs> cats. And our son. Our daughter and one son both have cats. Actually, both daughters, daughters and one son. Yeah. And they all have cats except for them. <laughs> oh, that is, is that just that cute? Fits. That fits. Oh, I and love you, you that. You said it was from? Ginger Fabray from New York. And I am keeping a record of what states we get because it's kind of fun. So I'll give you an update tomorrow night if I, if I remember to do that. This is Iowa. And this is from Linda Telberg. Oh, how pretty. Now... This is a two, like a two inch strip. You know, when we talk about strip cards and you have, if you have leftover strips, isn't that pretty? It's very nice. I love the shades of green and it just looks so springy and that I'm very thinking nice. of you. I think that is a wonderful, 
That is a wonderful card. <laughs> Renee says, um, enjoying these cards much, Tim? You know, it's the ladies sending you cards, you know? know. Yeah, he knows that. Know. And, and, he, and he, he loves that, you know? So I said, uh, yeah. I do. Kathy Boggs from Washington. You know, growing up, Tim was always hanging out in the kitchen listen to the women talk because he always said they talked about a much wider variety of talk than the men who talked about the crops and the weather. So, so, so we always say Tim is a very well-developed well -developed feminine, feminine side, side and yep. loves, loves being with women. So he, yeah, he's totally, totally enjoying this. So it's, it's wonderful. Oh, is this gorgeous? Yes. Look at this. This is this amazing paper. I can't believe this paper is going to be leaving. Look at where the seniors built in and look how she has added mm -hmm. some grass the trees, the deer, the birds, and then just made it a small size. And I love also how she has sponged the back. Do you notice how it's going with the colors? Mm -hmm. And run through a And run through a folder, yes. Yep. And she ran it through first, and then she would have inked over it because you can see how it's darker mm -hmm. where it catches it up there. But that goes with the sky. Isn't that cool to bring it down? Kind of an ombre look with that. That is so much fun. Yes, Tim is very loved. Oh, Nisha, it's so good to see you on here. And Nisha's a good friend from here. Oh, Nisha. He is very loved. And he's feeling it. We and just one are of, so grateful. One of, one of Nisha's kids oh, yes. is very, very fond of me. Because his first name is Titus. So, so we love that. So they have this wonderful connection. Okay, and notes, you know, I come back afterwards and I go, Tim and I go through the cards again and read all the notes. So for now, we just do this. Carol Carpenter from Wisconsin. Oh, one of my favorite stamp sets, sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. How pretty is that? Yes. Tucked in like that. And a card cut right there yep. to just make a different shape. That is awesome. And is that the same as that ribbon? Yep, yep, Let's see? A little bit there, a little bit there. Lovely ribbon trim. And then we have Karen Schwacka from Ohio. Oh, oh is that adorable? <laughs> oh, Tim, this looks like you, your teddy bears. Know, sending you a smile. And I also love, <laughs> I love this wood background. Look yeah. how she did that. How cool is that? Very cool. That is an awesome card. Love the bear. Right up Tim's alley here. And... Debbie said she loved that deer being added on that variety. So you're right. So, you know, your comments always come in a little bit on delay. So we're all talking about like the guard before, but this is so much fun. Gail Peterson from Wisconsin. And sending you healing vibes. I just, this is a soft, you'll see she's got the, the uh, same stamp. I got to see the, oh, the lighting here. You know, we hit the lighting in the evening. That's always kind of a problem here, but it's a soft stamp. And I wanted to note you to notice what she did in the inside. There's one more in the inside. So it looks like a watermark. And then you can stamp the words right over it. There's been no sun until now. Yes. You, you don't want sun. <laughs> I know. It's pretty funny. It's peeking through. We haven't had sun all day. So we didn't even think to think about our windows. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's great. Kathy Carlson from Wisconsin. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, she's just lovely inside. Mm -hmm. Look how this is layered. So we have this yes, background one, stamp. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Seven layers. And this is just like, I think this could be one of the watercolor shapes to see how cool that is. It just makes mm -hmm. that sponge shape there. Yep. That's fun. And the two flowers, great card. Fussy cut. <laughs> yes. And Lynn Mer Meringer from Wisconsin. Ooh, a lot of Wisconsin here tonight. Ooh, this is beautiful. How pretty this is. And a nice little letter inside. <laughs> well, I'm not reading these online. Okay, but I just had to read your top line because just, well, it's about darn well time I send you a card. <laughs> no, I, said, <laughs> I said to read that. That's so funny. Okay, we love your sense of humor. I said that fits ours here. <laughs> it's pretty great. Okay, I'm going to have to hold the cards like this because I don't know what else we can do right now without. But this is this gorgeous. Um, Celebration stamp set. Isn't that pretty with the birds? No, Tim, I don't know that you should stretch. Here, let me try to reach no, this. Karen, just sit down. You know, Tim has the worst trouble sitting still. And I have to tell you a story about today while he's doing that. You know, I have to do all the errand running now. And Tim's goes to the post office like every day for me. And we're still sending out just so many things. He had to come along today, I went, because he wanted to introduce me to his favorite um, postal workers because he knows I'm not going to introduce myself and get to know them. <laughs> so, so I carried in all the stuff, but he walked in with me to anyway. So that's Tim. <laughs> Gail said, notice the envelope. Oh, 
Let me go back to Gail's. Okay. Oh, I just don't want to get these mixed up. Oh, <laughs> oh, she's got the hearts on there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Notice the envelopes. Okay. I'm trying to, hopefully I won't mess these up, but you know, doing the best we can. Ethel Wagner from Tennessee. Oh, first one from Tennessee today. And the kite. Yes. Flying high with the kite. A little something to brighten your day. And the clouds. Very cool. Oh, and it's a stand-up card. Notice how the side is like this? So oh, It's got a letter on the back. It is. A, oh, and her writing is on the back. Oh, she has a Bible verse here. That's awesome. That is wonderful. You know, this is a, a, a great way, you know, if you want to do a display card and then you put your message on the back, it's still all right there. That's wonderful. And a great Bible verse. Love it. Wonderful. And then we, oh, another Tennessee. Tennessee tonight. Rita Johnson from Tennessee. Feeling down and out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Hope you're soon up and about. Oh, is that adorable? The darling donkeys. And you know, I'm sure some of you have that set. That is adorable. It is. And she's done these words. I think these words are just done on a computer. I want to point that out because I do that a lot. If there's something you want to say, um, same as you want to do Bible verse or something else and you don't have a stamp for it, look how cool that is. Mm -hmm. And then you just cut that. That is adorable. Very fun idea. And then we have Dana Josephs from State of Washington wishing you a quick and complete recovery. Get well soon. And she's got the fun little brick kind of background and sunflowers. Mm -hmm. Notice the sunflowers are stamped on colored cardstock. Then you don't have to color it in. And it just makes a really um, good look here. Beth said she's sure the postal workers loved him as much as we all do. Yes. You know, when we were in Hawaii, he sent them, he sent them postcards from Hawaii. And when he went in, when he came home, they had his postcards up on the wall. <laughs> so he, it's just, and he knows all about their kids and what they're doing and all that. And, you know, but, um, and I just said to Tim, I don't know why you're going to make me go do this. Cause I'm not going to be you. I'm not still going to go in and um, <laughs> chat with them. You know, I am just not, I'm just not going to do that. So, um, and this is Gail from Iowa, but I don't have another thing. So Gail from Iowa, thank you for this. And a belly band card. Look which, at that. So the belly band comes off. I just about cut off opening it. Oh, it's really close. Oh, I love that card layout. So look how it's a long card, folded, folded again. And you're seeing three different patterns. And then you open it and it continues. A fun card. Is there more of a name in the back? No. But when? thank you, Gail from Iowa. She's incognito. But I like on the back of her belly band. Look, she put this handmade from the heart. That's really a fun, that's a fun little background. Betty Fountain from Colorado. Oh, just for you. Love this paper. Shades of all the, the we need this. Uh, rainbows and sunshine. We're, get, we're yep. going to get a lot of rain this weekend. It's going to be warm, but very rainy. So we might have some rainbows. We'll just see. But isn't that pretty? It is. Pretty colors and just three strips. Just a fun way of doing that. That is awesome. So we kind of go through these in a hurry here. And then later when we just sit and read them, then we can kind of take our time and we just think about you guys again. Another, oh, one for me. Can I open mine in here too? Oh, She's got a belly band card for me too. Oh, I didn't uh, even, thank you for thinking of I, me too. I actually set them aside, but. Okay. Oh, he thought he was going through them because if mm -hmm. they said to us together or just me, we were going to do them on Thursday. But look at, but this is actually pretty cool. Because look at, this is a belly band card. Yep. And we just done one recently. How how cool is that? I just love, you know, so many of these things, if you notice, they're actually quite easy folds and they're very striking. I love how she did the belly band and made this nice and big. So mm -hmm. it's kind of this, because usually I do a belly band, just kind of a small area. So I kind of like that because it almost looks like the front of the cart. Mm -hmm. Like it belongs there, but then it slides off. Yep. So that's pretty cool. And Kathy Pope from Pennsylvania. Oh, Tim, <laughs> this is adorable. Oh, Look is. at this gnome. Get well soon. That is, is just adorable. <laughs> that is so cute. Love it. <laughs> Not a Stampin' Up thing, but absolutely adorable. People always ask, do we need to use Stampin' Up on everything? We do it. Absolutely not. And over in the backport stampers, nothing needs to be Stampin' Up. Sometimes I point that out because I'm going to get a lot of questions like, what page is that on? <laughs> I wish I could help you. <laughs> Barb Wilson from New York. Oh, cute. 
Oh, <laughs> so we have a bridge card, which I just love. Notice how this lays flat and it's the same size as an envelope. And it's really easy. Sometimes you send a fun fold card and you think, how will they know what to do with it? This one's pretty easy because it looks pretty obvious. It's going to stand up like that. And I think this is one of the most adorable little get well things. <laughs> so really, really cute. <laughs> Sliding into the weeds. <laughs> And then, well, the, the biggest stress for Tim, having me be the caregiver, you guys, is just knowing I hate running errands and I don't like to cook. So, you know, apart from that, I, I do pretty good as a caregiver, but those are kind of two main things, aren't they? And, <laughs> and according to our grandson, she doesn't know how to wash dishes. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's kind of, <laughs> it is what it is. He's stuck with me. But you know what? Sickness or health, it's all tender times. It's all good. It's all part of living together, loving together. So it's no complaints here. Um, and, you know, uh, Marianne, I, you know, I mess up your last name all the time from Connecticut, but Nat, Maddie Juzik, something like that. Juix, Maddie Juix. It's a long name. It's one of those that I always think of young kids to learn to spell that. You know, I was a Johnson. I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. So <laughs> I love this card. Look how simple this is and striking. This is with the those little dandelion yep. things. And look how pretty that is. It's monochromatic. Yep. So we just have the words. We have a ribbon. It's some flying away. Yeah, it's some flying away. And a monochromatic card. So how fun is that? Yeah, you guys are saying how how fun it is to see cards. We love showing cards we get from you guys because these are just like all kinds of cards, all kinds of ideas. You know, it's just a community thing. And it's not like... You know, the other swap cards I show are from demonstrators, but this is just from anybody. I know some of you are demonstrators. Most of you are not. The sun cards. Oh, Tim, here's a card for you. Look at this. With it's you from too. Oregon. And hopefully there's a name in here. Frida Alsup. Oh, how fun is that? And that oh, yes. is perfect. It is. And coffee cups. And look at these are like squares that way. And you open it and it's repeated here. Awesome card and oversized, oh, so you kind of notice even, that. I didn't even notice they were squares. <laughs> and next, I know that's very, very personal. That totally, totally fits you. We have Sandra Williams from Virginia. I haven't had Virginia yet. Oh, I love this hot air balloon. Would you ever go up in a hot air balloon, Tim? No. I wouldn't. <laughs> so it's one of those things we well, just love viewing from a distance. I wouldn't mind, but it's so noisy. Oh, who here's been up in a hot air balloon? I've heard that. Um, and I, do, I don't like heights, so I, I, like I just wouldn't. But I like the view. I love seeing them. It's, uh, and that is just really pretty. I guess I would. A fun card. I, see, I was surprised he said that he wouldn't because I can't imagine him turning down the opportunity. That no. would be my personal opinion. Um, the beautiful card. Love that. And that would be, just be good for any occasion. How fun is that? Then we have... Kathy Rader from Texas. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How cute is this? This kind of card, there's a name for this. Someone else might know it. Where it, I, I just can't think. You know, I can't think on my feet anymore. But do you see how this all kinds of different sizes? And so it's made into like a grid pattern and then you fill it in. When I first started stamping in 1996, I had cards. I don't remember if they were stamping up or not. They must have been because we made them and we they were pre-printed with the designs like this. And then we put things in the different pattern. This makes me think of that. So it's kind of a throwback idea, but I love this idea. I haven't done this in ages, but I love how you could make these any size. That's a little B. Yes. And, a big and, B. Go and isn't that just sweet? That is. And the teeny tiny flower <laughs> he's holding. That is really cute. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Next. Oh, I went on a hot air balloon at dawn. That would be fun. Okay, Vivian Bailey from Maine. Oh, how fun. And a nice note in here I'll read. Oh, here's my favorite little turtle again. How <laughs> cute is that? <laughs> and all the little leaves very coming nice. out. Oh, ve that's very, I like on this card, there's all this like little stitching line coming down and just adding some punched out leaves on the end. Very fun. Next, we have Vesta Streeb. Vesta, you send us, I think, more cards than, I think I get more cards from Vesta than I've sent. <laughs> well, ex except, uh, except I was going to say that can't be true because now that I send out about 
85 birthday cards a month. I guess I can't say that, but you're a true card sender. Hello, friend. Here's that bird. We saw another one on this bird earlier. And this is really fun. Oh, and she's got your teddy bear inside. Mm. This was when I started stamping up, Tim. We didn't get to choose what was in our kit. Mm. And Button Bear was in there. And I should have kept mine. It's, it's the one thing that I probably should have kept. And not now you could pick. But this was such a fabulous stamp set and so well used. And this is another older stamp. How cute is that? Nice. But I wanted to show this is a gatefold where it meets. But see, it's asymmetrical. And I think a lot of times when you make a gatefold card, I mean, it's just kind of automatic. You think you're going in the middle. And it's such a cool look because it gives this side narrower. And then this side, so you can put two different papers on. Mm -hmm. And it's just a different perspective. So isn't that fun? So that's very cool. <sighs> Becky Lynn said, hot air balloon is at the top, toward the top of her bucket list. Oh, amazing. Uh, oh, another one from Vesta for both of us together. Um, but we're going to open this too since in the middle of here. <laughs> oh, how fun. There's another one. So that's great. I love this. Ooh, this okay. And this is a Z fold. You see how mm -hmm. that is folded in half and then half. And then this is a really large part. I think what's fun about a Z fold card, you can put a small thing on it. You can put a big thing, whatever you do on top of it. This is your Z fold. Whatever you choose to put on top of it just makes the cards each look different. So how fun is that? And I love butterflies. Oh, and Beth said her hot air balloon was great because of seeing the scenery. I do think that that would be the fun thing. But considering I don't like going up on a Ferris wheel, I don't think I would like a hot air balloon. <laughs> Stephanie says her husband said he'd give her that for Christmas because she's wanted to do it. She told him it was too expensive for her frugal heart. <laughs> Maybe she needs stamps instead. <laughs> oh, here's a fun card. This is um, Jean Woody from... Texas. We've got some Texans tonight. And I just want to point out how simple. Do you see how this is a strip card and it's just plain angled and the words are there? Simple and a great card. And I know a lot of times people say, I don't know how to make cards that are just like simple, but nice for like masculine cards or even for more of a professional business kind of look like a business thing could be a thank you. So this is a three, These are three, three strips of paper. Yeah. yeah. And they're all like wood grain. Yeah. They're, they're, they're from that. But that really makes just a really lovely card that looks like you could use that for thank yous in a business or something, which is pretty awesome. And then we have Jennifer Smiley from Arizona. Oh, and we were just in Arizona, and we are gr really grateful that we're back home before this happened to Tim. So um, you never know. Oh, how pretty is this? This is lovely. I just want to point out, you know, it's kind of fun. Look how you can add a stamp inside there. And she decorated the inside too. I love this lighthouse. Look at this soft look on the paper. Mm -hmm. And then she's got those pebbles. Those little pebbles right there. Isn't that pretty? This is a great stamp set. And it says, let hope be your lighthouse beckoning you through stormy seas. That's wonderful. And then we have Tony Shaw from Pennsylvania. Tony came all the way out to our house and met us when she was traveling. So if you're ever traveling... Let us know. Okay. And this is what she put in. This is this is really a fun idea. This piece of cardstock serves as protection for the front of your card so it arrives in perfect condition for you while traveling through the postal system. Oh, I think some of you are going to want to copy that saying. Isn't that a fun thing? And then she put a smiley face on there. That's awesome. Oh, <laughs> and her smiley face totally goes with the band-aids. Band oh, that is hilarious. Look at you guys. Now, if you... Oh, this is just making me think what a fun card this would be to make with kids. I got to have with grandkids make yeah. some of these. Well, they would just love this idea. The googly eyes and the band-aids. Thank you. What a fun idea. <laughs> Renee says her son-in-law loves to skydive. Tim did that once. That's something else that I would never do. That is hilarious. Great humorous card. Helen Gall from Wisconsin. Oh, we love the tie dye. It's Tim has it is. Tim has a fair number of tie dye items, which is really cool. But you look how cool that is, Tim, because that's a circle, yep. and then adding the circle here and yep. kind of just frames that. Get well soon. Awesome idea. I love that. Very cool. Oh, and she's done her whole inside there too. That's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, if you guys want to know, Tim has over three hundred cards. Is that? Is that 
a feeling of being loved or what? It is. Um, and this one is Joanne Stewart from Wisconsin. Here is another, I mean, anything can be masculine or feminine, but you know, I'd like to point that out because sometimes people can't come up with like kind of just simple ideas if you want to make some classic looking guy cards. Look how cool mm -hmm. that is. Look at just with a the flag there, got your punch and, and your design. That's a really, really nice pattern. And of course, you could use florals. You could use, this could be something really cute. You could take anything and make it something else. But sometimes I like to point out how you can do something that's simple and classy. Um, Tony, who made that bandy card, said she's made a lot of those in the past. Well, I think that's just really fun. <laughs> and Sandy was saying she went to the hot air balloon fiesta in Albuquerque. Oh, that sounds, see, mm -hmm. I would love to go to that. It's a big deal. Yes. And um, and going to watch was on her bucket list. Okay, I could put that on my bucket list. I just don't want to be in it. And her daughter gave her that trip for a special birthday. How cool is that? That is really fun. And just that extra little finish on the inside. You you can talk more, Tim. You just really well, is talking less and less. <laughs> Should I be quiet and have you talk a while? No, no, okay. you're, you're doing just fine. I'm okay. Really fine. <laughs> Nancy Tigelmoral from New York. We've had several from New York tonight. Oh, I like that. Ah, that's wonderful. Um, I'm going to wait, see, and if you can, well, it's just the, the colors are wonderful. Yes, and just how they're all creative and and this is just paper and different size strips. Yep. We did, um, we did this. It's probably been a few months back. Does some of you remember? It was one of our card challenges one week. This paper is awesome with that. I just love yeah. those colors. And then she just has the accented with a punch and a little ribbon there. Beautiful. It is beautiful. De Jill or more. Oh, okay. Nancy, you're on here. De Jill or more. Is that right? Uh, no, De Jill or more. <laughs> De Jill or more. <laughs> I try. We were um, watching on the news the other night. They were interviewing someone who spoke like 17 languages. And I thought, I'd love to speak a second language even. And I just think it would help in figuring out a lot of words and names even. Oh, is that cute? Look it at that is. paper. I Little think they're donuts. donuts. Oh, that is so cute. This is Bobby Hudson from Rhode Island. I don't think we've had a Rhode Island no. card yet. How cute is that? And she calls herself the fairy card maker. Oh, that is pretty. And look how simple that is with paper, and your it. words, and it's just gorgeous. Uh, looking at paper like this, or if you have anything like ice cream or, you know, anything too, I think if you make cards for kids or something, like you stick a donut with it or an office coworker, you know, wouldn't that just be fun yep. to deliver that if you're delivering in person, of course, <laughs> but I just think that's really fun. That is great. Then we have Linda Wood from Florida. Oh, we, and we saw one of these before. I just love the stamp set with the dandelions. It won't be long before we'll have a bunch of those. And then strips down here. I said, yeah, I said where that was from. And then all the little strips. So I always call that a strip card when you can just put strip strips, all kinds of different places. Run through a folder. Very fun. Yeah, yeah, and the folder underneath. Yep, that's the folder underneath. And then these are put on top. And a punch again. Very fun. Then we have Joanne Prosser from Florida. Oh, we are on a Florida run here. Okay, this is gorgeous too. Oh, look and look what she did mm -hmm. on the inside. So this is from a die set. And see, that's one of the dies. Here is another. Doesn't that really add? And then she wrote around it. That is really gorgeous. And I love how this is just on some wood grain paper. Some other card, and we've got the little lace coming through. That's another very stylish design. Oh, it, is, it is lace. It's a little yeah. lace doily. Yeah. So kind of as a little accent. Isn't that pretty? And it's monochromatic. It's just that color in the white with that little yeah. bit of wood look in here. So thank you. Um, somebody said, oh, close. Nancy said I was close in her name. I didn't get it right, but... <laughs> Kathy said in Illinois, King County is doing their first balloon festival this year. Combine it with a trip to see family and me. Let us know when that is. You never know if we can fit that in. Oh, how fun is this? This is Tara Wolf from Iowa. And 
look how fun this is. This is a little bit similar to one of the other cards, but different. I always like to point that out because I always like to say similar, but different because look at these squares and this kind of put in this triangle form and to see how oh this pops goodness, out like yeah. that. And then that, is that fun? Oh, that's very cool. Very fun. And when it closes up, then this kind of makes me think of like a quilt too. And all yeah. these little rainbows, very, really a fun fold. Very subdued and then it just kind of jumps out at you. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And the card like that's going to stand and look fun. Like Very it. fun idea. <laughs> and Pat Newcastle from Ohio. <laughs> get, get well soon. Get well soon. Look at that, all that. And then one done in black and the little nurse there. <laughs> that, that is great. <laughs> How cute is that? That is just adorable. Oh, look at that. And not only that, but a little thing and we got the little medicine thing and we got the Kleenex. All that's <laughs> that is pretty good. Tim has been on oxycodone, you know, and he was sleepwalking in the hospital. But he's a sleepwalker anyway. So it just kind of added to the little <laughs> but there were a few side effects from that medication. Look which she's still on, but I <laughs> look at how she made that. Mm -hmm. so, so a little box in there. Yeah. Is that just adorable? How cute is that? All right. Very nice, Pat. Thank yes. you. Yes. And uh, yes, we can make that. So I said, okay. Barbara Cooper from Missouri. Oh, and another. Oh, and she did on the inside too. And I love it. She just has stamps in the background. And then a die cut image on the solid. So all just a very simple card. Very nice. A sailing. Nice theme. looking. Yep. Yeah, sailing. Silly thing, and that's pretty. Another just great idea for a simple, classy card. So that is fun. <laughs> so this is where you're going to put all these cards. For right. now, for a while, they're going to be in a basket so we can sit and look at them. You know, it's just fun. It's just fun to have this. No. Or, or, or what's your plan? I better ask him. Two baskets. Oh, two baskets. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't fit in one basket. <laughs> but isn't that fun? <laughs> Myra Rolderson from Maine. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it is. And let me, I always have to check the inside. Um, see, and she wrote a Bible verse on the inside too, and a fun thing. Now, is this, I'm trying to think if this is paper. Yeah, I think that is just paper. That's really pretty. She has an arrow going to the back. I think that's a dot, dot, dot. Oh, just a letter. <laughs> I think, but I think it's what I do all the time, dot, dot, dots. That way yeah. I don't have to think about what's that's correct right. punctuation. Yeah. And it's the way I talk. I just take a really short little breather anyway and keep on going, you know, so. <laughs> but isn't that pretty? That is. Love that design and the colors. I love that kind of, it's kind of a reddish brown on all those browns and grays. So that is very fun. And the paper behind it has little, what do you call it? A little texture to it. Yeah, so so I was texture. trying to think, but I, um, um, uh, are you up for continuing to go? You can sure. decide. Okay. Oh, yeah. we, we set out a certain amount. We were going to see if we could get through tonight. Alabama, Sharon Towler. Oh, I loved this paper. This is an older paper. I love this yep. with the April showers. Okay. And she's written this too. When life sends you rain, play in the puddles. I love <laughs> that. Oh, that is awesome. And she put that on the inside too. Look how simple this card is and how effective. When you have really fun paper, that's all you need. I mean, I just think that is just very striking. And you put your words there and it's just. You say that she was from Alabama? Yes. Yes. How cool is Thank that? Thank you, Sharon. You know, we're just so touched to have this community from all over. It's just amazing. Kathleen Weber from Florida. Tim just took a break, so we'll see where he is. Oh, how cute. This is the paper pumpkin that... Um, Whatever that punny one was, look at that. I'm sorry. That's the pits with the little sad faces. That is such a cute card. These are just kind of fun cards to have on hand when you, when you need them, I'm but back. I love that. Okay, yeah. you're back. Isn't that fun? Bing cherries. Oh, great card. Kathleen Zuckerman from Florida. We will never get enough of this paper. Look at this paper again. Oh, and she's got the seagull there. No, it's a penguin. Or, Pelican. Hey, penguin pelican okay okay <laughs> third nice. third try if nice we miss it on the third yeah. try we're out so <laughs> okay. but she's just added the birds she's added a little glitter here 
And I haven't seen this stamp used on this before, and it's perfect. Do you know where pelicans spend the summer? Mm -mm. Minnesota. Do you know where they Oh, spend yeah, the I do. I do know that. I guess Florida. I see that. But Florida. Where, oh, okay. Okay. And where is she from? Let's see. Does she have native... Uh, She's from Florida. So mm -hmm. from our house to yours, here we go from our house to we share the Pelican. But I love that stamp on that. I think it's amazing all the different stamps we're seeing used with this paper. And they're just so pretty. How cool is that? Another Florida. Katie Sessler from Florida. <laughs> that is great. That, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is hilarious and I love her little insight too notice how she has some fun paper mm -hmm. and then she put the words on top that is funny that is a great card <laughs> when Nita said we could wallpaper the kitchen yes I'm not sure you should give Tim that idea <laughs> <laughs> but they, they are so fun and sometimes if you have a bunch of cards you know you can just kind of rotate what's out that you have on display to look at but you know nothing like feeling loved I said I just that's um, very true so wonderful he has come in with tears in his eyes so many times from, you know, he hears the doorbell or he hears the mail delivery and he gets up right away to go see what's there. Oh, here's another getting a bunch of umbrella themes, Good which job. I love. That is adorable. This is Margaret Springer from Michigan. Get well soon. What a cute stamp. Oh, that is so <laughs> cute. <laughs> I love that. We're getting down there. We'll just do a few more yet tonight. Linda Gerke from Michigan. God grant you peace. Love that. That's and nice. here's another. This is the focal point right here. She just has this little thing with the words, a little stamp, and then pattern paper yep. and laid and a simple card and the three rhinestones. Just so fun how we can just make something personal so quickly. Then we have... Oh, Peggy Dag from Ohio. And look at this twice. It is Ukraine's colors. Yes. Look at the blue and yellow butterflies. Right. Look at that. Love that. Perfect. This, um, perfect for that with the blue and yellow. I said, and our hearts just go so out to just that whole situation. But love that. Love the, love the contrasting. That's perfect. Um. Tracy, I love your comment. She says, these cards remind me we live, we live in, oh, we live in a dating world. Um, okay, I need to know a little bit more. Like, um, I thought she was going to say that we live in a world where people are kind of bringing back, like the old fashioned kind of dating. Or you have to tell me more because because now, now we'll be on a, on a stream about that. Okay, I love this. This is uh, Ethleen, Ethleen Reitz. I've never heard of Ethleen before. That's really fun. From Springfield, Oregon. 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 Okay. This is a retiring. Oh, and I love what she did on the inside too. Yeah. The this is retiring. I don't know if it sold out or not. Yes. Oh, and on that too. Yep. These are my most used dyes of what was retiring. It made me so sad to leave that. But look at how lovely those are layered yeah. on each other to put the words there and some color for paper so she just added some layers beautiful so these are wrapped the, the ribbon is wrapped around and so that's, yep. that's all one, one yep piece. yep it's all wrapped yep three times and then yep. put there very cool and then kim scratchfield from kentucky oh how cute is that see this <laughs> hug it's for you oh, honey so nice. oh is that cute papa's the papa bear set with fishing and all that is that cute that is and i love those words see this hug it's for you you know sometimes when you look at things too you can think of, oh what other what do i own that i could use those words for you know any kind of a creature like that that's a fun fun yes. word to put on there thank you kim <laughs> yeah wonderful sandy sextor from nebraska <laughs> okay the band-aids have it tonight that is hilarious look at that that is a real band-aid too yes and with the with the balloons get well soon oh you guys that was just such a fun idea <laughs> just a fun and idea the band-aid is being carried up into the sky so okay so we have 
kind of we were talking about hot air balloons, skydiving. Here's a whole nother thing. You can just it be is. carried away this way. That is so funny. That is hilarious. That is wonderful. P.S. Be nice to the nurses. Yes, you can oh. believe Tim was uh, very nice. They were nice to me. And they were nice. One of the assistants went and changed. She came in because Tim needed something and he wasn't who she had. And she came in afterwards and said, I went and changed names so I could keep you. He said, I want to be in here. <laughs> so he said, that's so fun. <laughs> Uh, Rhonda Taylor from California. This is a gorgeous, simple card. Um, and love that she did that in the side. But look how, how this is stamped. I just want to point out, you know, this is just elegant. Stamped, and then we add the framing. Mm -hmm. And the colors just make it. They do. Doesn't it just with that? And then the words across. So it's just yep. a very, very, uh, very beautiful card. Yeah, Rebecca's assistant was probably asking the nurses what he could do for them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he was. He, he was asking one how she liked her coffee. He was going to send me to go get her <laughs> a pound of coffee. And I said, I I'm just not sure we should be doing that. <laughs> so, yes, Kathy Lockhart from Florida. Oh, is this fun? Oh, now this is a, a punch that's also retiring. And I hate to see this punch go how, but you could do a similar idea with other punches. But how cute is that? Look mm -hmm. at that, Tim. It's four punches yep. with some fun different papers. What a fun background. And they're all the same punch, right? Yep, they're all the same punch, paper. but different papers. Yep. And some run through a dye machine and some just Smile. colorful. That, oh, and happy mail. Oh, look. Oh. And then she added things in here. Oh, that is so cool. That is a fun, another design idea. And try that idea with other punches, too. And then we have from Maine, Terry R. So Terry R. from Maine. Oh, this is lovely. This is a bookbinding card. Mm -hmm. And again, look what the paper does. Oh, my goodness. That is such pretty paper. And then she's got the little butterflies and the words yep. and the trim. Love that yellow and green. Nice colors. That's so springy. That is beautiful. That is gorgeous. Then we have Lori West from Pennsylvania. I think this is a paper pumpkin, so I just want to point out, but I could be wrong. You guys can tell me because, you know, I don't get them all done. But I love this envelope. Look at how this fits. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Sometimes, you know, when you do card kits, you do get all these things that fit. Look at that. Feel better soon. How fun is that? And just, um, and she did put on here, taco, taco, hot dog tent. Love how you make things easy and fun. <laughs> that is so sweet of you to say that. That's when we did the explosion cards and I tell my story. So it was, um, <laughs> I think I've done, I don't know how many videos doing that, but taco, taco, hot dog tent. Tell a story. Love the card. Great card. We are almost finished here. Jean Morelli from Mesa, Arizona. Ooh, another beautiful one. Hurry and be Ooh. well. Another strip. And this is paper done this way oh it's wonderful and then the words a punch behind it what, what is that a little ribbon uh, like i think this paper would just be this way and yeah. it's not stamping up but it's gorgeous you know any paper again the papers does the work there yeah and i think plaids make just really fun more masculine looking cards too or just something different you know so i i just love plaids but you can see that's that same punch behind here and words going across she's got very nice handwriting it's yes nice. that's true that's true. Unless it's a stamp or, or, a, or a printed out font, we'll never know. And then this Unless is a great way it. to add a little ribbon without adding any bulk. It's just like a little flag on there. So Jean, are you that, that talent of a, a calligrapher? <laughs> <laughs> Kathy is saying, she's laughing at our story. She says her husband often asks people, so what can Kathy help you with? <laughs> That's pretty funny. You, you, yes. you. <laughs> And this is, oh, this is lovely. This is Louise Groff from Oklahoma. Love the stamp set. Isn't that, I mean, and he just, isn't that cool? And I love how she's done this as a smaller mm -hmm. square. And then we're following through with a square there. Those are really yep. fun colors. Yep. That's a great card. So notice, notice that layout. And our last one is from... Mary Lou Clemish from North Dakota. And we have a pocket card. I love pocket cards. And look at that, how it just pulls Ooh. up like that. That is so pretty. And I love the little butterfly accent. And this is just 
pretty paper folded up, attached. You know, if you send somebody your favorite recipe for something, this would be oh, be perfect, perfect way to do it. It perfect, yes, it really would. Ah, great idea. And you could do that, Tim. You could do that because you have some favorite recipes that people ask for. So we just want to thank you for spending this time with us. Thank you so much. And if you haven't seen your card here, don't worry. We're going to be back There's tomorrow night at so 6.30. Many <laughs> so many I said, We're just going to enjoy this week doing this. We just cannot tell you enough how much you guys mean to us. So uh, thank you, everyone. You guys have showered, showered me with blessings. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, yeah, we're, we're around in, in between all these other offices. But thanks, everyone. And we will see you tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye.